The history of Indian astronomy begins with the Vedic period, Lagada and composition of Vedanga Jyotisha 1400 BCE to 1200 BCE. Astronomical knowledge in India reached an early peak in the 5th century CE, with the Ayavatiya. Its author, Ayavata, uses astronomical calculations to determine the date of the Battle of Kurukshetra as 18 February 3102 BCE. This date has become traditional and is still widely cited in Hindu literature. Modern authors attempted to date the Vedic period based on archaeoastronomical calculations. Thus, William Jones who tried to show, based on information gathered from Varaha Mahira, that Parashara Muni lived at 1181 BCE Hermann Jacobi has argued that in the Rigveda and Atharvaveda the sun was in Falguni, and in the Sankhyana and Gopila Griyasutra the full moon was in Bhadrapada during the summer solstice, which would have occurred at 4500-2500 BCE. Jacobi and Tillich have both noted that the terms of the Naksatras Mula root, Victau, dividers, and Jaistha oldest, suggest that these names originated from a time when Mula marked the beginning of the year, i.e. about 4500-2500 BCE. Tillich has also noted that the two-week long Pitas period after the full moon in Bhadrapada occurred at the beginning of the Pitriana, which would have been true at about 4500-2500 BCE. <laughs> Samhitas In RV 5.40.5-9, a solar eclipse is referred to, Surya is obscured by an asura called Svervanu self -luminous, that recovered by the Atris. The One, referred to in the Nasadiya Sukta and other hymns has been suggested to have originally referred to the Axis Mundi, and, the one who dwells beyond the seven sages, as the polar star, at the time referring to Thuban Alpha Draconis, the Samvatsara full year. In the Yajurveda has 360 days, and 12 ts or 13 vs months. <laughs> Brahmanas The Visuvant summer solstice period is 21 days in Itreya Bridge and 7 days in Pankavimsa Bridge, the summer solstice being in the middle of the period. The Gavamayana ritual in SB 4.6.2 is based on the motion of the sun in the Maitrayana Brahmana Upanishad. 6 the year is said to be into two portions, with the part from Maha to half of Sravastha associated with Agni, and the part from Sapa to half of Sravastha associated with Varuna and Saumya. The moon. IR has argued that Agni suggests the warm half and similarly Varuna the cool half of the year, suggesting the summer solstice at the beginning of Maha and thus implying the vernal equinox in Katika. This, according to Kak, would correspond to 1660 BCE. The Shatapatha Brahmana mentions that the Katikas the Pleiades, do not swerve from the east. This would have been the case with precision at 2950 BCE and was true also about 2000 BCE, but was still true to within 8 to 13 degrees viz. east by north around the 8th to 6th centuries BCE, the assumed date of the text's composition. Topic: <inaudible> Vedanga Jyotisha The positions of the solstices and equinoxes in the Vedanga Jyotisha, with the Sun very close to the Kritika at the vernal equinox, would correspond to about 1370 BCE, although the text in its present form is from a later date, around 700–600 BCE The Vedanga Jyotisha, in common with Mesopotamian texts, asserts a 3 to 2 ratio between the durations of daylight on the longest and shortest days of the year. This corresponds to a latitude of about 35 degrees. A latitude of 34 degrees would correspond to northern India. See also Hindu astrology Indian astronomy Hindu time cycles <laughs>